Uh, Chris Kobach just went down to defeat in Kansas. Really? Did Democrat. you just get a call? Whoa. Yeah. We're calling it right now. It just arrived in my ear, to my mouth, to the side of the building. Wow. <laughs> that that works. Works. <laughs> wow. Wow. Kansas. Okay, this, you guys, this is a big deal. Chris Kobach you have heard of because Chris Kobach became a figure in the Trump administration without ever officially joining it. He was, he was brought to Washington to head up the voter fraud task force. And how did they do? They didn't find any, uh, but they made a lot of noise. Um, and then Chris Kobach narrowly, narrowly, narrowly eked out a win in a Republican primary to become the Republican candidate for governor in that state while also simultaneously serving as secretary of state. He he really has pioneered, a, forgive me, a lot of the modern Republican politics of voter suppression mm -hmm. um, and has put the hardest, raggedest racial edge on all of it with glee. Um, and Kansas is a fairly conservative state, and Kansas just finished up a very hard time with Sam Brownback as their governor. Uh, Chris Kobach. Uh, losing and look, looks like he's losing big to Laura Kelly mm -hmm. yeah. um, just speaks volumes from Kansas. I know so many Kansas Democrats. I just happen to know a lot of people in Kansas who feel like they're blue dots in a Red Sea. Uh, and both that House race um, going to Sharice Davids and that governorship going to Laura Kelly is going to be seen um, as just a as, as an epic moment for that. Interesting state. stuff happening Easy. in the middle of the country. Yeah, yeah. but the, the vote. I mean, there's so many. Uh, Trump era debacles that we didn't we don't pay enough attention to the ones that are you know mm -hmm. not as recent but this this voting commission that he ran um, it wasn't just shut down by Democrats I mean no no Republican states wanted to turn over their voter rolls either yeah. so this was one of those instances where out in out in the country Democrats and Republicans roundly rejected what was clearly a blatant suppression effort. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.